They have two types of pancreatitis. They can either be um, itis, meaning the inflammation, pancrea, meaning pancreas. There you go. Fabulous that vocabulary. You can have edematous or necrotizing. Which one do you think you'd like to have? If you got to pick one, you're definitely going to go with number one, edematous for 200, exactly. Because it's just a little fumi fluid accumulating. It's mild. It resolves all by itself. You're going to be okay. Necrotizing uh, pancreatitis is a whole nother issue. You know, when you're a nurse and probably even your clinicals, you'll always have a patient that you will never forget. And I had a patient come in around a holiday. It was around a July 4th. And she came in and she said earlier in the week, she was a young, healthy, beautiful 51-year-old vibrant woman who said to her husband on Monday, sweetheart, you know, while we're both healthy, let's get our affairs in order. Let's take care of all those arrangements and get things in order while we don't, that's not creepy to think about it. So they did it on Monday. She came in on Wednesday and was dead on Friday. No signs, no symptoms. And I stood there by that lady's bedside through Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, just stunned as you stood with his family because it was, um, it was just overwhelming to see the changes that she went through. She had necrotizing pancreatitis. And she got to the point where she was so overloaded that you know, she did not look like herself. And I couldn't grasp how she didn't look like herself. And you just feel so helpless with some of these patients until she was done. Um, we were done with, with um, her postmortem care. Her family had seen her. And her family just stayed at her bedside and say, that's not my mom. That, that can't be my mom. It doesn't look like her. And I went to take her clothes out of the drawer I opened the drawer and I picked them up and they were size two. I took out a little tiny pair of jeans and a little tiny shirt and I looked over at this person that I had just cared for and she was like a 28. It was unbelievable to me, the change that she had seen in her. And that's when I realized I need to understand this disease process more. I need to know how to recognize it. I need to know what's going on. Now you might not be able to change everyone, but man, that brought it home for me to know that this is a radical disease process. So number two is definitely not the one that you want to have. And I want you guys to know what the signs and symptoms are, so hopefully you'll recognize it quicker. I, I wish this patient that I cared for...